Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do another DIY deal. This time it's about a chest kit. So I've done previous posts on Hill People Gear chest rigs or chest bags. And uh, oh, I forgot I had made these. Score. Multi part strikers, I forgot that I had did. Oh. Let me wipe these off real fast. I had dumped them out when I had heat treated them and just didn't clean the oil off of them. Cool. These are my little flint and steel. Um, multi-tools. You can scrape stuff and scrape a fair rod and do flint and steel and all kind of stuff. Those guys. But anyway, you can buy the pieces to make this. Or if you have some of the extra pieces, you, you can make this basically the same way with different products. So, this is what I'm talking about. It's just a simple, over the neck, just rides on, on your chest, flat, flat against your body like this. And I did this one when I did uh, some time in Colorado, and I was just goofing around base camp, and I just put some things in this, and since then I've taken things in and out, and it's changed and it's worked well all the time though. But what it is is the pouch is the EDC medium insert from Helicon Tex. And the way that it's made is it has these Velcro hook and loop panels on the back to stick it into the backpack. And I got this to go in my EDC backpack from those guys and end up doing something different with it but it's i'm primarily use it for fishing now but this guy has the two little hooks on the top two little loops and i put them in a grimlock and then uh, i took in just inserted some webbing into uh, the buckle that was on the, the lock. This buckle is on the loop when you get it. So I just stuck a, um, a piece of cotton webbing through it and let it ride. And it's not, I don't put very much stuff in this, but it's tight and it rides really well. So anything that you could either put these Grimlocks on or a D-ring or an S-beaner and weave the webbing through, you can buy the webbing sets for, they're about 15 to 18 bucks, I think, different. It's like, I think it's 10 yards, maybe 10 yards of nylon webbing. 10 of these buckles and 10 of the other buckles like the big snaps clip clip uh, that you see on a lot of backpacks for compression straps and stuff but you can buy that whole kit and put these things together by yourself the i don't know how many different types of this pouch they are but this one works well for it because you can open it and it has Everything kind of just right here, vertical for you. And it, I don't have much stuff in it, but it would definitely carry some small gizmos. Uh, I used this on a kayak one time, just putting some fishing stuff in it. But it worked very well, and it's very easy to make. Uh, any type of pouch that's made to fold down from the top would be good for having on your chest. Uh, 
I mean, you could you could use whichever one you wanted, but if you're if it's against your chest and you're looking down at it like this, so we're we're first person right now. We're uh, EverQuest first person, and you're like, oh, let me get my stuff out. When you open it. Everything is right here. You don't have to worry about stuff just spilling out everywhere. It's got a couple um, elastic pieces down there in the bottom. Put a flashlight or whatever in. And it's got some elastic and some small pockets up here on the. Oh, that's my wazoo string. Is it, can you still read it? Let's see, yeah, it says wazoo. Pretty cool. One of my magic strings. And it's just got a, a safety blanket and a poncho in it. And then this side it's just got a lighter, a really tiny headlamp, a multi-tool, and some fire starters. That's all that's in there. I don't think this thing needs anything more than that if you're just using it for banging around. Most of that stuff, you would just go back to the lake house if something happened anyway another quick do-it-yourself option for a chest rig so i'll look around i'll see if there's any more inexpensive pouches that i can you know set up in this configuration and let you guys know if i come across any other ones but like I said this is the Helicon Tex EDC insert medium I wonder how big the, the big one would probably be really nice I would imagine it's close to the same size as the, the hill people gear one this dude's about seven inches wide five and a half inches tall and I would say two and a half inches deep so you can put a bunch of stuff in there. But anyway, appreciate the support, guys. Uh, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Hope everybody has a good one. Eat some turkey. And be lazy if you want to, or go hunting, or whatever you want to do. Go play in the woods. Hang out with your kids. But again, thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, the channel's doing really well. I've still been trying to answer all my comments. I got some crazy ones sometimes. Like, I don't know what is happening to the world that make people think some of this stuff. But, hey, y'all enjoy the show, I guess. But uh, you can subscribe. You can like and follow us on Instagram or Facebook. At Bushcraft Kelso will find me. Uh, BushcraftKelso.com has got gizmos and gadgets. Like these multi-card strikers. I don't know if I've got a Piece right here. Let's see. Let's see how good she, how good she sparks. Oh, yeah. Hard to do it at a weird ass, or I'm sorry, a weird angle. Under the camera. Anyway, Pelican Tex EDC insert medium chest rig. Thanks, y'all.